Hi guys, my name is Jamie. Welcome to Border Bananas and Josie's downstairs already singing. So, you know, what can I do? The kids are home. It's time to COVID. I gotta take what I can get, right? <laughs> so, this is Fun Finds Friday and I do this every Friday except for the third Friday of the month. The third Friday of the month is Flippin' Friday. Flippin' Friday is where a bunch of us get together and we do some thrift, thrift? flips woo! <laughs> and we um, make over some secondhand items and we give them love and just so we can appreciate them again try to save some stuff from the landfill right friends and update it for our decor at the same time win win so that is the third Friday of the month at 11 a.m. Central Standard Time anybody can participate if you would like to and um, Let's just jump into it, shall we? I went to Goodwill this week and I actually have one item. Oh my gosh, I thought I heard music, but it's a plane out by head. <laughs> my son was playing music and with his bass going. Um, okay, so I forgot to <laughs> uh, mention one item in my last video, so I'm carrying it over to this video to show you guys because it's a goodie. I cannot believe. Now believe I forgot it in the last video because it's amazing. I love it so, so much. Okay, if you hear dishes rattling, my daughter Madeline is doing the dishes. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so um, I don't even know where to start. I'm gonna start with the one item that isn't thrift. I made a purchase on the Sherbonder website. I've been watching for this for so long and finally they got them in stock again. And it is the Lynn Lily by Sherbonder glue gun. I got this for my DIY channel. It looks like this. Let's see if I can, there we go. And it is um, cordless. So what happens is you plug the base in and while it's on the base, it's charging and it has the fine tip. So in my videos, I don't have to be messing with the cord and trying to get the cord out of my, well, that'd be an everyday craft life too, right? Um, to keep the cord out of my videos or just to keep the cord out of my project. So that was really exciting. So I found, I when I saw that it was in stock again, I jumped on it. Now, it is expensive. It was $30 for a glue gun. Um, but I thought it was so cute and just the right size. It takes the small glue sticks. Um, I do have another larger Sherbonder that I like as well, but it doesn't have the precision tip and it carries, it try, it takes the blue, big glue sticks. So I'm like expanding my repertoire, you know, <laughs> building my army. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that's what I am doing. Then... And that is the one thing that I bought that wasn't, no, I lied. I bought one more set of items that wasn't thrift, but I'll show you those in a little bit. Um, I have been looking for new cookbooks and I was really excited to see this one because, oh my gosh, just the cover alone. Whew. This is the William Sonoma Weeknight Fresh and Fast Cookbook. Check it out. Does that not look delicious? Oh, I love it when I can find a William Sonoma cookbook because they're usually really good at fresh, healthy meals. Um, and then the spine, yes, the spine looks the same way. So I cannot wait. And asparagus, oh my God, I love asparagus and I love Brussels sprouts too. I hated them as a kid, I love them now. <coughs> I parboil them for just a couple minutes so they're nice and bright green. I just don't boil them, boil them all the way because then they get that like tart taste, you know. And then I saute them in some butter with some salt and pepper and some Parmesan cheese. Mmm, so good. They like taste nutty almost. So, and this is <laughs> um, how it looks on the back. So cute. I cannot wait to do, dig in. I am constantly, okay, I can't be alone. I cannot stand Pinterest anymore. It is so, there's just so many ads. Um, and they, they're like the pop-up ads and that's how people get paid. And I love that people are getting paid, but Pinterest itself, like it'll click on something and it'll take you to something completely different than what you wanted to see. And it's just, ugh, 
I don't like it. And then you, I don't, they, I think they've changed it since then, but you're like following a recipe and it'll just, the screen will go back and you'll have to completely start over in your search again. That used to bother me too, but I think they fixed that since then. But I usually just take a screenshot of my picture or my recipe, write it down and then never visit it again because it bothered me so much. I would take that much time, but on Let's move back into the positive side of things, shall we? <laughs> oh my gosh, I just went down a rabbit hole. Um, I found a valance that I fell in love with, but I could only find one. And it's not, it's just little, but I really loved it. It was $1.99 and it's Waverly and it looks like this. And it is just this little valance. Oh my gosh, can you see that? Isn't it beautiful? But I don't shy away when I can only find one and it doesn't work because I can use it for other things. It's just fabric. So I thought, wouldn't this be a beautiful table runner or dresser scarf? I could use it to cut it up. And if I like undid the fabric, I could make a pillow with it maybe. Or all kinds of other little goodies, a little bag to hang on a hook in my entryway. I thought all of these things would be so, so cute. So I, for $1.99, I wasn't gonna like let this go because this is so gorgeous. But I think I'm gonna use it as a dresser scarf for now in my living room. So I sold <laughs> my blue table, my custom table that Gabe and I built out of a child-sized desk. We turned it into a console, like an entertainment stand. We put shelves in where the, the chairs would go and built it up around on the bottom. And I just sold that and we got some good money for it. And it, I found it free on the side of the road. It was still in great condition though. I could use a fresh coat of paint because I had some paint wear. Um, so I sold that and I used my vanity. My vanity is now in my kitchen. I'm sorry, my living room as my entertainment center or my TV stand, even though my TV is hanging on a wall. But um, I think it's just really kind of dark. So I think this will lighten it up in there a little bit. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Now I found a couple more valances and I think I showed these in my thrift with me. But man, these are so darling. And they fit in that new cottage core, country cottage aesthetic that's going around. And look at this. Look at these. Quilted on the bottom. Now these are not handmade. They do have a tag in them. But the tag is so old that it looks like this and you can't. <laughs> You can't see anything on it. So I don't know what these used to be, but there are two of them. And I think I was toying with the idea of putting them up in here in my craft room. Let's see if I can open on up a little bit farther so you can see a little more of it like that um, in my craft room because I thought that would be really cute. But the color is really just too much pink. Um, I got like the coralies and the greens going on, although I stink and love this pattern so, so much. Isn't that gorgeous? Um, I think I'm going to put these in my Etsy shop. I'm going to clean them up and put them in my Etsy shop. It is, I'm going to note that this is not like a bright white. It's like a creamy white. So, um, yeah, I will definitely soak them to brighten them up and with in some OxyClean and wash them up and get them ready and list in my Etsy shop because I think they are stunning and I think they will sell. And they are definitely vintage. Did you see that tag? <laughs> so that was exciting for me. And then if you guys hadn't guessed, I did pick this up. Um, I did a thrift with me and I love this thing so, so much. Um, and one of my viewers actually said that that tray would look so pretty on your vanity, on a, on a vanity holding the pretty things. Um, and I actually already have one of those on my vanity holding my pretty things, but I did grab this one like this. It looks like this. It came with the divider trays and it was $6.99, which I didn't think was bad at all. I love the patina on it. I love it when they turn gray like this and the blue on the bottom is a bit much, but you can tell like whoever washed this, they just let it air dry because you can see the watermarks. I don't know, I'll get my face out of there so hopefully it'll focus on the tray. But it has the little feet on the bottom that I love. So um, I may use this on that Waverly uh, tray, or Waverly curtain, the blue one, um, on either my coffee table or my um, 
entertainment center. Like I, I said, I thought that would be super, super pretty. But I have some decisions to make because I found some good, good stuff. Okay, so next quick little thing is I found a little vintage recipe box. It is like a sagey gray green. Um, it is definitely lending a little more gray in this room than it is on the green, but it definitely does have a little green to it. And it was marked $1.99. And it looks like underneath it is marked $2.99 originally. So they had definitely changed the price down a bit. So um, I just picked up one of these. Now, this is just a plain one. And I, I really like the, um, the printed ones. I might try to do a DIY on this. I don't know exactly what I would do yet, but I definitely think it's lending towards a DIY, right? So it's in pretty good condition. So I might try something, right? Why not? It's mine. I bought it. <laughs> you guys, I can be such a snap. Okay. So now this pattern, I bought, I sp sp uh, spent up, paid up. There we go. That's the word I'm looking for, the phrase. Um, for these, I believe this is my husband's aunt wedding pattern. And this is Oneida in the heirloom quality. Um, they're stainless. And I found the, the, what is this called? Like a meat fork. And then I also found the little ladle. Looks like this. Isn't that gorgeous? It is so pretty and it has the cutouts at the top, but they were $1.99 a piece. So I paid $1.50 for each of them. Um, and I believe these are her pattern. If they are not, I will keep them because I think they are stunning and I think they will look pretty sitting out of a picture. Um, or, you know, I could even use them because that would make a pretty, um, I could even use, it's scalloped. There we go, it's scalloped. So it would even make a pretty like decoration. Sorry, I had an, my husband called me, so I had to let go for a little bit. Um, so let's see, I've already done that. So let's get all the stuff together, right? Let me get organized. Um, oh, this too. <laughs> okay, so next up, you guys guessed right. If you guessed that I brought home the Wexford canister, I did. It was $3.99, so I paid $3 for it, which I think is kind of silly. Um, but it's in great shape. The seal is awesome. People were wondering about the seal. It's awesome, of course. These, they just don't make things like they used to. Um, made in the USA, you know, $3.99. I love these things. I have several. I have, um, as I go, I have been um, purging the canisters that aren't Wexford and changing them out with Wexford. Someday I'll have to decorate my hutch and show because they're kind of like in my Lazy Susan right now holding all my dry goods and uh, because I have all of my heritage on my uh, hutch. That's the word I'm looking for, Jamie. It's English. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So I love these little guys. I think they sparkle in the light. So pretty. And I even have like a little teeny tiny one, um, that I love so, so much. And my mom, <laughs> what did I, uh, my mom has like cotton balls in one at her, at her, at her house. Whew, I can't talk today. And, um, She's like, oh my gosh, yeah, I have that canister in little. I was like, I know. <laughs> I know, that's Wexford, mom. Okay. <laughs> I do this when I'm excited. Okay. You guys, I'm so excited. $2.99, so I paid $2.25 for it. And it's a Syracuse China personal creamer in brown transfer wear. Oh, I love it so much. It was, I said it was $2.99. But I'm going to, like, I, I could just see the bottom under there. I was like, oh, yes, that is so mine. <laughs> so um, $2.25 is what I paid for it. And I see if I can show you this logo. I found a book that, um, a dating book for the Marks, the American Made Marks, um, not too long ago. And so I cannot wait to look. I have been having so much fun looking up the Marks because it's, it's like, I'm not, like, technically inclined <laughs> <laughs> which is kind of weird because I do YouTube. Um, but if I have a book, I can sit in there. Like I sat down and I read that book one night. And I mean, I didn't read it from front to back, but I like, you know, looked up all the stuff that I was interested in, like Jacksonville, um, China. And um, what was the other one I, I looked up? It was Syracuse. Uh, I looked up Buffalo, China. And I also looked up 
Oh my gosh, what's the name of it? I have a bowl. Something pottery, Indiana pottery? I don't know, I can't remember. But here is 95E, Syracuse, China. So 95E, I'm assuming, is the pattern. So, do we? No. 95, I think that would have been the year that it was made, and E would have been the season? Oh gosh, I can't remember. I'm going to have to look it up and let you know. But I was so excited. This is my third one. I have one in St. Elmo, which is a green pattern. I have this one, and then I also have a little blue flower one that I cannot remember the name of. I'm going to have to look the name of that pattern up. Um, so that is thir three. I officially have a Syracuse China personal creamer or syrup. Um, I think the, the creamers are a little smaller, and then this would be a syrup. So, uh, collection, it doesn't matter to me. I love them all. Um, but this is the pattern or the Syracuse China that I really super love. I also have a teeny tiny Syracuse China one. It's much older in the dogwood, dogwood pattern that is gorgeous, but I prefer these versus the super teeny tiny ones. So yeah, I just think they're so pretty. I'm going to show you now the item that I forgot to show you last in last week's haul. It's for my friend Robin, so can you guess what it is? If you guessed Ironstone, you're correct. I found her the cutest Ironstone teapot I have ever seen. Like I found her Ironstone, like lots of Ironstone in the past, but this is so gorgeous. This is Colonial English Ironstone by J&G Meekin, England. It was $4.99, so what does that mean? I paid like $3.75, does that sound about right? Something like that, and it looks like this. I'll bring you in closer so you can see the scalloping and the pattern. There, it looks like that. Look at that handle, it is so pretty. And then you can see, let's see. Yeah, you can see the scalloping on the bottom. It's so pretty, the top looks like that. Isn't that gorgeous? I cannot wait to give this to Robin to add it to her collection. Robin is so easy for me to shop for because I kind of, oh no, the top does have a tiny little chip. I don't think Robin's gonna care. <laughs> I never noticed that before. Um, but otherwise, it's in good shape. Sorry, Robin. Um, <laughs> like she's gonna care, right? Um, she is not, but I think it is so gorgeous. She's easier for me to shop for because I can kind of spot. I don't know why, I just get it. Nicole is a little harder for me to shop for. Oh, I forgot some stuff in my car. Hold on, I'll be right back. Boy, you'd think I was rusty or something. Oh my gosh, I'm completely forgetting everything. Okay. So as I was saying, Nicole is a little harder for me to shop for because she is very particular about what she likes and she declutters stuff that she that she's done with. You know what I mean? Um, so she, she, she's good about that. She like brings in and purges old. So she's a little, I don't want to get her something that she feels like she has to keep and I don't want to get her something that she'll want to purge. So I'm trying to... Um, be on alert of what I'm hearing in her videos. <laughs> so, okay, so she is harder for me to shop for. Um, I do know one thing that I, I've noticed that she has not purged anything of, so I, I've got that on my brain, but it's very hard for me to come by. So anyways, all of that being said, I forgot some stuff in my car, and this is a couple of these. I found one, actually found three vintage pillowcases. And this pillowcase here is not in the greatest of shape, but I wanted to save it anyway. It was only 99 cents. And I actually have this pillowcase in pink and I believe I have it in yellow. Um, I don't have matching sets, so um, they're hard to come by, but it looks like this. This is the edge of it. I don't know why I love mat or these vintage pillowcases so much. I don't really use them. I just like to take them out and look at them. <laughs> I like 
fold them pretty and put them in a pretty basket. <laughs> there I use them as decor. <laughs> I'm glad I can laugh at myself, right? But I do, I just really appreciate them and I think they are so beautiful. So I grabbed this one. <laughs> this is a king size, by the way, and I paid 75 cents for it. And then I found a matching set, which I never, oh my gosh, you guys, I'm crying over here. <laughs> okay. So I found these, 99 cents each, so I paid 75 cents a piece for them. They look like this, isn't that gorgeous? They have stripes down the, I'm gonna see if it'll, they have stripes going, you know, horizontally, and then this, the edge looks like this. I think these are so, so sweet, and it looks so pretty, and cottage core, again, country cottage style that vintage flea market style oh my gosh so gorgeous and they are in such good shape such good shape and these are also not a true white they're like a creamy white which i can appreciate because i think it just um warms it up a little bit you know so i grabbed both of those for 99 cents now a couple of weeks ago they did have some um i'm literally crying <laughs> Uh, they had some um, beautiful pink floral vintage um, pillowcases that I really wanted to grab, but they were $3.99 each. Can you believe that? And somebody bought them because they weren't there. Somebody paid that for them. I'm like, nope, not me. Not even at $3 a piece after my discount, no. <laughs> okay. Now, some of my viewer stuff is coming up. You guys... I keep saying that, but I love all of them. So, I have been on a milk glass kick apparently lately because this is the second milk glass item I have purchased in a while, but I could not leave it at the store. It was, how much was it? Free today, $4.99. Um, and it looks like this. Look at this little lamp. I love the twist on it. I do have one milk glass lamp that I have on my makeup vanity. Um, but I think this definitely I will be changing. I bet you this cord works and I bet you it is perfectly fine. It looks like it has been rewired, but if I need to, I can rewire this. I've rewired many, many lamps. It is very easy to do. Um, you just have to make sure you get the knot up here correct. And that is the hardest part and it's just a knot really. It, and, if you buy one of these, it shows you how to do it, or you can look it up on the Underwriters Laboratory <laughs> website, um, but it's really easy. Uh, but I love this little lamp so, so much, and I have the perfect little lampshade for it. That I have been holding out for, whoops, I just dropped it. I bought this just a few weeks ago, and I think that will look so, so cute, don't you? I love the white with like the acru. Um, now this does have some tarnish and some wear, so I will probably just take a little rub and buff this down here. There's a piece down here. There you go. You can see it. That also has a little tarnish and wear, um, a little rust going on, so I'll probably just use a little rub and buff on there and call it a day because I think this thing is gorgeous. I love it so, so much. All right. Four more things. All that spiel about Nicole is what got me to go out to my car because I remembered I had this and it's really cold and it's really heavy um, and I paid up for it. I did find one of these um, a few weeks back at the Trove. Um, it's a antique marketplace in Stillwater, Minnesota that I went to. Um, I actually went there with Nicole once and, and I found one of these. They had one for, I believe, $7.99 and one for $9.99, but I thought I could do a little bit better, so I didn't grab the, one of those. But it is a vintage iron. Isn't it gorgeous? It is so gorgeous. I'm gonna see if I can bring it in like that. You can. It's sweating now because it is literally so cold. <laughs> I mean, it is 30 some odd degrees outside and it feels like spring for me. I've been going places without my coat on because just a couple of weeks ago, well, last week, I believe, we were negative 30, so we've gone, um, actually, we were negative 39. No, we were negative 30, and then 
on Tuesday it was 39 degrees. We literally, our, our temperatures increased by 79 degrees in just a few days and it feels like spring. <laughs> Everybody's walking around in their shorts in Wisconsin in 30 some odd degree weather, but that's how we do. <laughs> this was $8.99. I've been going down some rabbit holes today. $8.99, but I did get the 20 or er, that 25% off discount. I had to remember if I used my coupon or if I uh, got the discount, but I got the discount on this. So um, whatever 25% off $8.99 is, is what I paid. And it's very heavy. And I think what Nicole wants to do with it is use it as a bookend, I believe, or just style it on a shelf. But I'm excited to give that to her. Yay, okay. So, all right. I have a couple of things here that I love, <laughs> but I'm going to show you the best deals so far that I have found. Okay, these guys, oh, if I can get them. Okay, these guys I got at Walmart right now. Go run. They were 99 or 97 cents a piece, and they look like this. They're just called boxwood picks, and it's 99, 97. I keep wanting to say 99, but it's 97 cents a piece. They're the main mainstay. I'll show you the tag just in case you want to see if you can get them online. Um, they look like that. Um, now they look kind of like frosted. I don't like that like dusty look but I went in oh somebody's doing the dishes I'm sorry um went in and it is literally they're just dusty like they came off a truck somewhere <laughs> so I'm gonna have to go through and just dust this off um but they were all like that so I grabbed a bunch of these one two three four five six so look and look at how pretty that looks to get that I mean that truly looks like boxwood <laughs> right so I grabbed six of those. I thought that was an amazing buy. I can use these in my DIYs. I can use these in my thumbnails for props and you know, just staging stuff. And I can also just stick them in a vase and call it good, right? So boxwood, grabbed those for 97 cents a piece. They still wanna say 99 cents a piece. Now, this next thing is probably one of the fav most favorite things I found for myself in a while. And I saw it, I was like, Ugh! and I didn't know what it was. And once I found out what it was, it was even better. But I found this white pitcher with these beautiful English roses on it. I'm gonna bring it in for a close up. And it has like these taupey gray leaves. So gorgeous. Look at that handle. Um, and it's on both sides. Now, this side has a teeny tiny chip right there. But, um, it didn't matter to me. It was only $5.99, so I did get the 25% off that, and it's Royal Haker. So I looked these up on eBay, and I see them listed for about $50 uh, to $65, um, but I'm not selling this. I love it so much. This is going to stay in my white pitcher collection, perfect for the summertime, and it even has like that peachy pink, that I love so much, <laughs> my my um, crickets coral. So um, I love that. Can you imagine it with some, let me just throw some boxwood in there. Let's put a little more than that in there. Let it, there, isn't it cute? Flip it up. There. For spring or summer, love, love, love it. Okay, so grab those. Grab that in a heartbeat. It was the first thing I found when I went in. I was like, oh, be still my heart. Okay, grab that. Last but not least, can you guys make a guess what it is? <laughs> my OGs will definitely know. It is a basket. I have not bought a basket in forever, but I love this one. Look at the handle. The handle is even woven. Um, it is just a simple basket, but I thought it would be perfect. And it does have some, like, stuff on it but I don't even care like somebody had it hanging out in the garage and it has like I don't know but I don't even mind that I kind of love it about it and it was $5.99 baskets have really gone up around here um so you know there's not much I can do about it they're all priced a little higher but I love this thing so so much um and it has like whoever had this was a DIYer because there's like some silver paint here cream paint white paint i even saw oh there's like a peachy paint <laughs> i 
a corally paint, black paint. It's just little speckles. Are, oh, and there's some orange paint. I just, I don't care. I think it's beautiful. And nobody's ever gonna see that if I put it on the top of my hutch or even if I just use it to gather my um, fruits and vegetables from the garden this summer. I think it will be gorgeous and very functional. And if you made it all the way through that, thank you so much because <laughs> this has been a doozy, right? Okay, so if you like this video, please thumbs up and give it a uh, subscribe. I do these every Friday, except for the third Friday of the month, third Friday of the month, enunciate. <laughs> and um, that is my Flippin' Friday. I, on the third Friday of the month, I, I host that. It's a collab, it's at 11 a.m. Central Standard Time. Uh, and everybody is able to participate. It's an open collab. Um, and I think I have figured out why the playlist links aren't working. The description box links still don't work. That's YouTube's fault. But I figured out a way to get around the playlist links, so I've got that under my belt, <laughs> so it's not so stressful. But um, stick around for those, and if you want to participate, go ahead. You just have to make sure you um, announce my my name, my channels, and that I'm hosting, and um, direct everybody to the playlist link, which should probably be in your comments as of right now because YouTube's more key. But and then I do every Monday and Wednesday, I try to do thrift with me's. I hope it's not broken, whatever it was. <laughs> I try to do thrift with me's and um, I didn't get one up this Monday. I just had too much going on with um, getting my son back on track with school and stuff and all that other good stuff. But anyway, another rabbit hole. Thanks guys for watching. I'll check you later. Bye guys.